Angela Cruz, BSc 3B major in mathematics. For today's topic, it will be geometric sequence for grade 10 students. Good morning class. May I request everybody please stand up. Lovely, please read the prayer. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day, be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Amen. So, before we start, let me give you a good morning. Good morning, class. So, class, before you take your seat, kind of pick up those letters around you and arrange your chairs in a straight line. Very well. You may not take your seats. So, it is anybody from the class who is absent? Okay, let me check your attendance. Wow, it is integrate to start a week with a perfect attendance. And for now, may I request everyone to please get a piece of paper. You will not have a quiz as of the moment, but you will use it. So, I have mine too. Hold it up and listen very carefully to my instructions. Now, I will ask you, how many rectangles do you see? One. Very good. So, fold it once more. How many rectangles do you see now? Two more. Fold it once more. So, how many rectangles do you see now again? Four. Four. So, fold it once more again. How many rectangles do you see? Eight. And now, now how did you find it without knowing or folding the paper first? Actually, this number is a set of numbers which has a pattern and this pattern is called geometric sequence. Anybody from the class who knows geometric sequence? Okay. So, Ariel, this read. Geometric sequence is a sequence in which we get the succeeding term by multiplying the previous term to the fixed number called the common ratio. Okay, so for our example here, we have a 1, 2, 4, and 8. We obtain by 2 by multiplying 1 by 2. So, 1 times 2 is 2. Then, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. And 4 times 2 is equal to 8. So, it's more likely that the next number will be 8 times 2. So, 8 times 2 is 16. So here are the some examples of geometric sequence. So if here is our first term, and here is our common ratio. So here's another example of easy way how to get common ratio. So, for example, is so first is we get a second term which is eight divided by two first term. So eight divided by two is equal to four. So our common ratio here is four. Example number two is we have a negative 3 and 9. So same process, put a second term, then a first term. So 9 divided by negative 3 is equal to 
negative 3. So here are the example of common ratio. So did you know what we just given the formula? The formula of a geometric sequence? Okay. So here we have a uh, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and enter. So 1 times the quantity of 2 raised to the 1, since the 1 is our first term, minus 1. So 1 times the quantity of 2, 2 is our common ratio, raised to the 2, since 2 is our second term, minus 1. And 1 is our first term times the quantity of 2 raised to 3 since our 4 is our third term minus 1 and 1 times 2 raised to 4 since 8 our fourth term minus 1 and 1 times the quantity of 2 raised to 5 since 16 our fifth term minus 1 and our formula for geometric sequence is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times the common ratio raised to the n minus 1. Okay, let's use this formula for real life application. So, Miss Charlene, this read the Arabic population grew in the following pattern 2, 4, 8, 16, and so on. If all the rabbits live in the pattern continues, how many rabbits will be in the 8th generation? So, our given is our common ratio. So, second term is 4 divided by 2. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, our common ratio is 2. And our first term is 2, and our n term is 8. So let's apply the formula. Our formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times the common ratio raised to n minus 1. So let's substitute. So our first term is 2 times the common ratio which 2 and our n term is 8 minus 1 so first is 8 minus 1 7 and 2 raised to 7 is equal to 128 So 2 times the 128 is equal to 256. So our a sub n now is 256. So now any question or clarification regarding to our topic for today? None ma'am. Okay, since there is no question, can you please get a piece of paper? We will have a short quiz. So for your quiz, please read carefully the direction and answer it accurately and carefully. For the test one, you have to identify the common ratio and the next term. And for the test two is problem solving. So you have 10 minutes to do this quiz and your starts now. Okay, time's up. Please pass your papers forward. Very good. All of you did a great job. Now, for your assignment, I want you to have advanced reading on our next topic, which is geometric series. So, goodbye. Thank you. See you tomorrow, class. Goodbye, ma'am.